Welcome to the Armory. I'm Nathan. So, uh, if y'all remember back a year or two ago, we used to always hear about these Somali pirates. These pirates in Somalia. You know, and they would go out and they would take over ships and take Americans hostage and people from other countries hostage. And they were hijacking about 25 plus ships per year. And they were getting millions of dollars in ransom money for the ships and the crews. So last year, only five ships got hijacked, and the number is dwindling more and more as there aren't any more pirates willing to go out and take the ships. And the U.S. even built this awesome new stealth ship to go out there and try to find pirates, and it, it's done okay, I guess. But what really did the trick, and what has really taken the pirates out is, now the ships that travel near Somalia in that area where they've been hijacked, guess what they have on board? They have on board some men with some of these. That's right, your good old AR-15 M4 variant, uh, fully automatic in fact, that they have out there. And so these guys up there are hired uh, guards, have nice uh, military uh, firearms, much nicer than the AKs that the Somalis are carrying, better range on them, higher rates of fire, and lots of ammo. And what happens is, the Somalis come in on their little boats, bouncing on the waves, and the guys up on board the ships are just cruising along, nice and smooth. They got a nice set of sandbags up in front of them, and they lean up over the sandbags, and they just shoot the Somalis in the boats. And the Somalis, if they want to shoot back, they're like, uh, and they're bouncing all around, and they can't hit them anyway. They're not good shots. So the guys up in the boat from a high position, the high ground, fortified position with sandbags, with superior weaponry and trained to be superior marksmen, just mow the Somalis down every time. So uh, the Somali pirates, the guys who are the ringleaders, uh, they don't, they're getting out of piracy business because they can't get their guys to go out because the ones that survive and come back tell them how they got their rear ends handed to them by a couple guys. You know, they could take out 20 guys come back with two or three and they're like well how many were on the board of the ship and they're like I don't know three or four of them so anyway we have a lesson we can learn here if you want to guard something that is valuable to you you don't rely on the Navy to come and save you you don't rely on the police to come and check after it's all done you either protect yourself and or you hire a guard to protect you I mean the, the rich people, the politicians, the people in danger, they have armed security surrounding them. It makes sense. That's how you protect yourself. You don't sit there and say, well, let's just have a sanction to where no more AKs can be sent into Somalia, you know, and, and that'll eventually their AKs will rust or something and, and they'll give up their piracy because they'll be out of guns. It's retarded. You can't keep the Somalis from not getting guns. Gun dealers are going to take them into that country. In America, you can't disarm the populace. Even if we didn't have the Second Amendment, you would never find all the weapons and the bad guys would just get them uh, brought in from uh, Mexico with the illegal drugs that are legally shipped in this country. They would get illegal guns shipped in too. They don't need that right now because they're able to uh, find them through stealing them, but uh, some illegal guns come up through Mexico and some come from us down into Mexico. So again, uh, the criminals are always having guns and they're always going to come after uh, what they think are the weak. And the only way to keep them in check is to have the strong stand vigilant watch and defend what is precious to us. So again, uh, it would be great if we took all the guns out of the world, but it's not going to happen. So the only other choice we have is to hire guards to protect what we love and value. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. As always, God bless America. Long live the Republic.